Welcome back to the Fame Journey, where we delve into the latest controversies and stories from the world of sports and celebrity news. Today, we have a riveting topic that has sparked a major debate in the world of boxing and the Olympics. Footage has recently emerged showing boxer Emane Khalif landing powerful punches on her opponent, which has gone viral amid her controversial clearance to compete in the upcoming Olympics as a woman. This decision comes despite Khalif and another boxer, Lin Yuting, being disqualified from the World Championships last year for failing gender eligibility tests. In this video, we'll explore the background of this controversy, the reactions from the boxing community, and the broader implications for sports. Stay tuned as we break down this complex and heated issue. Footage of Emane Khalif, a talented boxer from Algeria, has surfaced on social media, showcasing her landing brutal punches on her Mexican opponent, Brianna Tamara, during a fight in December 2022. This video has gained significant attention, particularly in light of the recent decision by the International Olympic Committee, IOC, to allow Khalif to compete in the Olympics. The caption accompanying the video highlights the force of Khalif's punches, sparking discussions about her eligibility and the fairness of her participation in women's boxing. Khalif, along with Taiwanese boxer Lin Yuting, was banned from the Women's World Boxing Championships in March 2023. This decision followed DNA tests that revealed both athletes had XY chromosomes, raising questions about their biological sex and eligibility to compete in women's categories. The International Boxing Association, IBA, disqualified them, with IBA President Umar Kremlov stating that the tests uncovered athletes attempting to deceive their colleagues by pretending to be women. This ruling was met with significant backlash, particularly from the Algerian Olympic Committee, which claimed that the disqualification was a conspiracy to prevent them from winning a gold medal. They argued that medical reasons, including high testosterone levels, were behind Khalif's test results. Despite the controversy, the IOC has cleared both Khalif and Yuting to compete in the Olympics, stating that they meet the eligibility criteria under current rules, which are considered more relaxed than those of the IBA. This decision has reignited the debate over gender identity and eligibility in sports, with strong opinions on both sides. Critics argue that allowing athletes with XY chromosomes to compete in women's categories is unfair and compromises the integrity of women's sports. Supporters, on the other hand, emphasize the importance of inclusion and argue that eligibility should be based on hormone levels and other criteria rather than purely on chromosomes. Brianna Tamara, Khalif's opponent in the viral video, has shared her own experience of fighting Khalif, describing the physical toll it took on her. In a post on social media platform X, Tamara recounted feeling outmatched and significantly hurt by Khalif's punches, more so than she had ever experienced in her 13 years of boxing, including sparring sessions with men. Her testimony has added fuel to the debate, highlighting the potential safety concerns and the physical differences that can exist in the ring. The broader implications of this controversy extend beyond boxing. It touches on fundamental questions about fairness, safety, and the criteria used to determine eligibility in women's sports. The IOC's decision to allow Khalif and Yuting to compete is seen by some as a step towards greater inclusivity, while others view it as a threat to the integrity of women's competitions. This debate is likely to continue, as sports organizations worldwide grapple with how to balance these competing interests. The controversy surrounding Emane Khalif and Lin Yuting's participation in the Olympics as women is a complex and emotionally charged issue. As we've seen, it involves questions of fairness, safety, and the evolving understanding of gender identity in sports. While the IOC's decision has allowed these athletes to compete, it has also sparked significant debate and concern within the boxing community and beyond. We'll continue to follow this story closely as it develops. Thank you for tuning into the Fame Journey. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest sports and celebrity news. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your perspective on this contentious issue.
See you in the next video.